about 17 miles from the beautiful coastal city of Mangalore in the valley of Western Ghats. There lies a small place named Kiram, the birthplace of Caspar Pinto. And this road leads to Thudam, a small village where Caspar was born, in a poor family on 29th December 1905. He was one of the six children of Mr. Alex, his father, the fourth in possession. Mr. Alex passed away when Gasper was just six. After her husband's death, Maria Sarau, the mother of Gasper, gravely took up the responsibility of bringing up the six children, one of whom was not even born when Mr. Alex died. Wherever she went to ask for help, she was advised to send the grown-up children for some work. A woman with vision as she was, she didn't want her children to be a prey to poverty. She worked for rich families on daily wages and gathered some grains for her children. Just wait, baby. Ma, Mother doesn't come yet. He will come when he has holidays. God has chosen him for his service. God bless you all, children. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We have nothing for the lunch today. From school, go to the church and pray, huh? finished my studies up to the 8th standard. But in the course of the examination itself, I had typhoid fever. I was just convalescing in Thudam when the parish priest, Father Emmanuel Rebelo, told me that if I wanted to take up the teaching profession, I could be a schoolmaster at Moodbidri in the mission of Father Koti. I met Father Koti. His face was angelic. Next to the holy name of Jesus Christ, no one has fascinated me. No influence has changed the tide of my life so much as that of Father Coty. I look upon Father Coty as the greatest apostolic man of 20th century so far in India. I returned to Maud Bidri that very night. Given the fatigue of the day's journey, I had good sleep at night, and in the early morning, I was at Maud Bidri. 
and I started my career as school teacher. So, my little children, if Catholicism has penetrated the marrow of your bones, you should realize that these downtrodden people for ages, due to the arrogance of the haughty, should be emancipated at least now and treated as real human beings. I am very happy today. The church welcomes these little children of God and mothers them. All of us are to pray for them and support them. Come, let us invoke the Lord's blessings on them. Master, what do you mean to do after relinquishing your teacher's job at Mudbidri? I intend pursuing my studies, my lord. What is the objective of your studies? To do my work well. So, are you not doing your work well now? That I might be able to do my work still better, my lord. Hmm, then why not follow the example of then why not follow the example of your brother? Then why not follow the example of your brother? Father Matthias was studying in the seminary at Merkel for the Diocese of Pona, who later spent his life in the preaching for the Word of God. Gaspar, look, here is a pioneer missioner, this Swiss Jesuit, who became an untouchable to the untouchables, to preach to them the gospel of Christ. Here is a pioneer missioner. What is comfort? What is pleasure? What is pelf and profit? Before the privilege of preaching the gospel to those who have not heard it, a work for which the Son of God himself became man. Father Corti's example changed my attitude little by little and completely after some time. His evangelical life, thoughts of my own brother's eulogy of the evangelical work, as well as the words of St. Paul, I want 
not your treasure, but you, took hold of me, and in spite of myself, so to see, made me resolve to become a priest. Monsignor Julian de Souza, with whose help Gaspar resumed his studies in 1926 and did his FA from St. Eloge's Mangalore. Gasper, what are you writing? Sit. I was just trying my luck. Hmm. No, my vocation. But why a second time? You had joined the Capuchin novitiate at Sardhana. Well, you're right, but that was in the vocation. I thought I had reached the wrong place. And then I just couldn't stand their lifestyle. My mother was upset about my going so far. I wonder if you need to be a priest at all. After all, you are already a missionary. Well, as you said, try your luck. After all, you are already a missionary. Well, as you said, try your luck. After all, you are already a missionary. Well, 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 as you said, try on that. In June 1932, he joined St. Paul's Seminary, Trichy, and was ordained a priest for the Diocese of Trichy by Bishop Leonard on 2nd April 1938. At the very start of his priestly life, he founded a library at Dindigal. We are in immediate need of your help. Kindly contribute books, money and useful materials to make our missionary library worthy of its name. I, who was intent upon going to the West, had my birth reserved and leaving Trichinopoli in the South had proceeded as far as Bombay, but circumstances took me to Allahabad. War doesn't seem to end, and the churches still remain closed. Monsignor Jansa, have you managed to find any priests for this year's Holy Week ministry? We really need them. Well, I've written to the Diocese of Allahabad. It seems there resides a priest from Trichy Diocese. It must be Gaspar Epinto. It seems he wants mm. to start a Carthusian order in mm. India. I read his book. Ha! Ah, foolish enough. He should read the signs of the times. We need Indian clergy today. Why not persuade him to do so? Here he is. Welcome, Father Pinto. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It has been my ardent wish that someone founded a society of indigenous priests. But why? The seminaries in India are accepting Indian young men to priesthood. Well, it's only in ad hoc houses that young men can be trained for a specific goal. Monsignor Jan, sir, our difficulties of the shortage of priests are man-made. Hmm, what do you mean? I mean that there are so many priests in the Palmy coastal land that when...